Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel here. I'm a teacher and today's video is going to be another one in my packing series. If you want to watch this from the beginning, of course, I will link the video down below starting about all the reason why I'm doing these videos um, because of course I'm moving and why I'm choosing to move and pack this way. Um, basically in a nutshell though is that basically all my stuff would be going a month before I would actually get over there. So I needed to basically survive with like an air mattress, my Vera Bradley <laughs> backpack and what I could fit in here and of course my dogs <laughs> so I do want to address though that I do have like this sign that somehow got left behind and also my curtains are here that is actually if you watch the update video you'll know all about that some stuff got left behind but the next cube is actually coming tonight so this stuff is going to all be gone and I guess I'll have to change in the bathroom and hope nobody's peeking in here <laughs> anyway so what I decided to do is of course I wanted to keep the least amount of items because I knew I would be traveling with my dogs and basically fitting into the car only the essential things like I didn't want my makeup palettes to go in a movie truck for about 24 hours also my guitar if you know anything about a guitar of course the heat and everything that cannot be good for it of course the temperature changes and also my brother's guitar would be with me and a full-size keyboard <laughs> a couple of things like that Anyway, and I just decided to keep what I could in this backpack. Now, I actually took this backpack with me um, to Tennessee, sorry, not Tennessee, to Minnesota um, about a year ago, and it was perfect. It was really awesome. I can fit a lot in there, and I was really confident I could fit what I needed for an entire month. So today is just going to be all about the clothing, and I would like to say that this backpack carries a lot. It, it, can, it has really great straps. And I'll kind of talk about this a little bit more in my video where I actually show everything that I pack in this backpack to leave on moving day. I will do that in a couple of weeks. But let's talk about the clothing I chose because that's what this is all about. So today I actually had to go through my entire, um, you know, schedule for the next month. And I kept about a week's worth of clothing, but things that could interchange. I do want to mention a few things. I am still going to my weekly workouts or sorry, my workouts that meet three times a week. And I'm also still interpreting at the church, so I have to wear certain clothing for that because we are streamed onto a green screen. I also help interpret for a friend who is um, having some issues with her vision, and so I have to wear some certain things that are better for the contrast for her. And then also, I do have a lot of meetings and things where I need to at least be business casual. So it's either I'm at the house, I'm at the gym, interpreting, or business casual. So I try to find things that would work for that. Last but not least though, I'm definitely a person who is not like those who can pack like three outfits and interchange them. I am a sweater. <laughs> I'm a person that that just sweats and I can't do it. So like t-shirts and things, I just can't rewear them. So I packed a week's worth of clothing so that I could go to the laundromat and um, you know do a load of laundry. Also with sheets and blankets, I'll mention this here. The sheets and blankets and things I kept are really old ones that are basically gonna be used the day we leave to um, a wrap on like our car seats for the dogs and also like put in between things in case we end up having to take more things. You know how it is when you move, you think you have everything and then you find random stuff. So we decided to do that. I think my mom has some glassware that's going to go on the back of the car. So all that to say, let's get into the clothing and talk about what I actually brought along. This is going to be a one and done video. So I'm going to pause this and literally switch the viewfinder. So yeah, if I say, um, a thousand times, it is what it is. Let's get into the clothing that I fit in here. Okay, so let's starters here. Let's get into the basically the intimates or what you would call. So inside here, I actually fit everything, and these two things actually fit in here. Um, I have here basically enough underclothing for basically several pairs. I think I kept like 10 pairs in here. Like I said, I would be going to workouts and I need this stuff to last about a week or an extra day. I also have socks and such. These are the type of socks. I did take a pair out to show you. These are the type, type of socks I wear. They're the Hanes. I also love the like Nike dry fit, but I have a pair of bobs. So I need the, you know, the ends to be, you know, a little bit more a material here. Otherwise it rubs my ankles. And then also did keep on a pair of these little footy socks because these are really simple to wear on the days where it's going to be a little bit hotter. So I wasn't wearing my like you know, really nice dress clothing without a socks. So I did keep a pair out for this. I felt like I could wear them when I needed to, especially on interpreting days, just makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then also I do have um, another thing that has like a sports bra, but we'll get to that next. But this is basically what I kept. I'm not gonna open this up, obviously and show you my underclothing. You can kind of see a little bit of it there, but that's the next one. Let's get into a few other things. 
here is the next little kind of cube. I will say I wish I'd kept my packing cubes out, but I accidentally packed them. So these are basically laundry bags where you can put things in like, you know, intimate or mesh dryer. So I did do that. I will pull out a few things from here. Um, the pink thing obviously is a sports bra. I did keep one of these out just because sometimes, you know, hair can be a little crazy and it's really nice just to have one of those. Here's my hair on everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think my dog was up here. I have right here, this is what I basically use to keep like things like pajamas and such or like stuff that I could use. Here I have a pair of these like Everlast uh, shorts. I don't even know if they can still have the symbol on them, but they're just like shorts that go um, kind of like capri, capri kind of like shorts and they're just really comfortable. They're really old. Yeah, they're Everlast. I don't even have the little drawstring anymore, but this is something I could wear as pajamas or wear to the gym. Even though my gym does meet three times a week, I have found that probably just due to packing, it seems like at least once a week I am like going late or not making the complete, you know, workout for the day just because of busyness. I also have a slip here because I did keep out some dresses. You know, I have dress wear. I do have um, just this little tank top. It just says like selfie life. It's really old and definitely for jammies. <laughs> I also have a tank top here to wear underneath the dress if I need to. And then here's another just really cute tank that I absolutely love. It's really great if I needed like an extra shirt. This is from Old Navy. If I needed like an extra shirt, I could put this underneath like a sweater. And I've done that before. It just looks really cute and comfy, but also can be used at the gym. Also can be used as, you know, pajamas. It's just really comfortable. Like I said, I don't, you know, I can't rewear things, but it is important to me to try to find things that once I wash them the next week, I can wear them differently. Some of these meetings I'm having with people are the same people, so I don't want them to see me wearing the same thing. Then I did keep out this really big, like, nightgown uh, night shirt. It's just a Halloween one. It's just, like, witch and famous, I guess, sort of rich and famous. So I did keep that out. And then inside here, of course, is just the sports bra. I'm not going to pull that out. Now let's go over to my closet. I'm going to show you everything hanging up and then I'm going to bring everything to this little bed here, my little air mattress <laughs> and show you everything laid out. And then in the end, I'll pack everything up and show it in the backpack. Let's pause. Okay. Yes, there are a ton of hangers here. I actually um, have a ton that somebody's going to take for me. So this is everything hanging up. So for starters, let's get into my actual moving day outfit because um, I am going to show it to you. I'll lay it on there as well, but basically I want you to see it hanging up. So for moving day, I am keeping out this really long, just jean skirt. It's just super comfortable and it's way too big for me, but it still stays up. You know how it is. You just have a lot of sodium and it's just comfortable. And also it's been really cold over here. So I didn't keep out any leggings and this is awesome because it keeps me warm. I also have my Harry Potter shirt, the uh, Gryffindor Quidditch uh, shirt. This is just really comfortable to, to go in, um, you know, to go while traveling. And then I have this right here. It's just a Nike hoodie, but it's super thin. And I kept this out because at the beginning of September, when we started doing this, it was just like really, really kind of warm, but sometimes I needed something. I'm going to be tying this probably around my waist because when we leave, it's going to be really cold. Once I arrive in Tennessee, it's going to be warmer, obviously. And you can just never go wrong with the hoodie. My um, family likes to keep it really cold in the car. Then this right here is this really awesome. It's really super long. <laughs> it's a really long, has pockets. <laughs> and it's just basically like this really cute sweater. But it's like really warm. It's kind of like a jacket. And also it's cream colored. So this goes in contrast with my hair when I interpret. So it's absolutely perfect. I've worn this to interpret for my friend Didi. And then I've also worn this when I've been on the green screen because... A couple of weeks ago, we sent out an email about that because basically there's a few of us that have darker hair and also I have like really tan skin and we were kind of blending in with the background. So all the, you know, people that are a little lighter or have like blonde hair or lighter hair, they've been wearing like a darker color to contrast. And then those of us with darker hair have been wearing something like a little bit lighter. Otherwise, we literally just like blend in with our hair. It looks like just our faces there and like no hair. So this is really helpful. Also, this is great because it's been working as a coat. It's been a lot colder lately. And then also I did keep out this scarf here. I've worn this a few times. And also I do plan on wearing this when I take off and travel because once again, it's been cold over here. So I'm going to be cold on the way there. 
and I'll have that. A scarf, I could easily just, you know, I can fold it up and put it in the pocket or just wrap it around my waist. Whatever I need to do with it is an infinity scarf. And then I am going to be keeping this because I'm not doing my hair that day. This is just my Luke's Diner um, <laughs> cap. It has Netflix on the back. I believe um, somebody told the story that when, you know, The Year in a Life came out, which I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, if you don't know, when A Year in a Life came out, they actually turned several um, coffee shops into like a Luke's Diner and they did this big festival. I was actually going to go with my mama and then I think she ended up getting sick or something, but we were going to try to do that. And um, they made these hats though. So somebody was selling this on Poshmark and they said that their brother had given it to them because they... I guess I'd worked there during the time that they had it. Their coffee shop turned into a Luke's Diner and they sold it. I got a really great price on it. I've worn this and even through the airports, people are like, oh my goodness, Luke's Diner. So huge Luke's Diner fan, huge Lucas Danes fan. So huge Gilmore Girls fan. Anyway, the rest of the stuff I'm going to lay out and then show you what I've got there over on the bed. Okay, scratch that. I decided to show you the like things that are hanging up for now. I did keep out this Row dress. It's just really long and comfortable. I think there's a stain there. <laughs> it's really long and comfortable and these do run big, but this is really comfortable just to wear because it's a one thing and it does have sleeves because it's been colder. And I feel like I can wear this and throw one of the sweaters on and make it look business cash or like I could just, you know, when I curl my hair into my makeup, it just looks really comfortable at the school or wherever, uh, even at church and stuff. So I did keep that out. The next thing I have here is this, this dress It's actually, it's like kind of way too big for me. It's sleeveless and it has some ruching on the side, which is what actually makes it fit. I got it on clearance, I think last year, and it's really comfortable. You can throw a sweater on it and such. It is way too big for me though. I have to wear like a sweater or something, otherwise it looks ridiculous, but it's pretty long and comfy. So I did keep that out and I could wear it with either sweaters and such. And then in addition to that white sweater that I kept out, I kept out this really pretty like I don't know, it's like a shawl or something, I guess, and or kimono shawl. It's just really cute and pretty. When I wear this, I feel really like cute in it. I've worn this to church. I've worn this, you know, at one of my meetings. Uh, my friend and I did a brunch, like a goodbye brunch, and I got to wear that. It just looks cute and looks great. And I also kept out, this is like a, I believe it's a um, Joe Fresh sweater and it looks like it has some lint on it <laughs> or some doggy hair. Um, my brother's dog does shed. Uh, mine does not. I have a Bichon Frise. And it's just a small, but it fits me. And even though I'm like heavier, it has pockets. So that's a plus. And it's just really comfortable. It's a basic. And I feel like I could wear this, you know, with this thing right here. I could wear it with this. I could wear this even just in general with like the other clothing I'm wearing. It's just really comfy. All right. And then these are some of the bottoms. I'm going to bring these over here and then we're going to look at the t-shirts and bottoms. And then after that, I'm just going to pack everything up and show you how it all fits in the backpack. Okay, the t-shirts are in the back, but I thought I would just go ahead and show you this way. Uh, this is just a pair of the leggings. I've showed these in another video. I actually have a navy blue pair and then a black pair. I meant to keep the navy blue pair, but I guess I forgot them. <laughs> I don't must have packed those and kept the black ones out. They're just a medium and they do have pockets, which is great. They're comfortable. This is something I feel like I could wear, you know, if I'm just at home or at the gym and it's just really comfortable. They are capris because I'm 5'2 and... It, the struggle is real with finding things that will fit. Uh, the next thing I did keep out right here is just this skirt. You're going to kind of see that one shirt there. It's just this gray skirt. It has like a little bit of ruching on the side here. And I kept this out because honestly, it's just so comfortable. It's really easy to throw on like when I get ready to teach. It's just really comfy and I just love wearing it. Elastic band because believe me, the sodium intake has been real <laughs> these past couple weeks. And that's just really comfortable. I also feel like I could wear this business casual. I feel my best when I'm wearing like, you know, like a dress or, you know, like a skirt to go businessy. I just feel like more fancy. I don't know. It's just what I do. Then I also kept out this uh, black, another kind of elastic band kind of um, skirt. Same thing. It's just really comfortable. And it's about, um, you know, like goes to my knee or whatever, but it's just comfortable, honestly. And my diet has been all over the place, so... It's just comfortable. I feel like I can wear that business seat, but also be comfy. Then another thing I kept out were my really super comfy <laughs> Adidas. Um, these are the Climalite shorts. I have been trying to figure out where I got these from. I don't really know. They are Adidas. Uh, they go to about the knee. Oh, it looks like I got some on there. They go to like about the knee, but they're really comfortable. 
I almost thought maybe they're a pair of guy shorts. I don't know, but I love these things. I kept these out because it's been so hot and I wanted like shorts that were just going to be like whew, comfy. Now it's cold and I wish I'd kept up more leggings. But anyway, these are shorts. Once again, I can wear to the gym, wear them around the house, um, wear them out and not feel like, you know, I feel like I'm not like wearing workout clothing, you know. Anyway, those are some of the bottoms that I brought that I can interchange. Let's get into the tops. So for starters, I kept out a Zumba shirt. This one's just super soft. It's really comfortable. And once again, I can wear this out or, you know, wear it to the gym and feel comfy or go from gym to, you know, workout. The next thing I kept is this super cute. Um, I believe it is from, yeah, it's from Dividend and it's just really cute. This was a shirt that I picked up to sell actually at Plato's Closet, but then at the last minute, my bestie was coming in from North Carolina and like literally I realized I didn't do my laundry or finish my laundry and nothing was dry. So I like, this was already washed because I had washed it to get ready to photograph it and sell it. And I literally just wore it and I just loved it. So I kept it. It's super soft. I feel like I can wear this to the, I actually wore this to a workout a couple of days ago. Um, we had like a workout kind of thing outside and it was for our um, coaches like birthday so we were outside so we can gather together a little bit longer um anyway <clears throat> and such and keep our social distancing but anyway so i have this beautiful like um floral print i wore that i also feel like i can wear this with a sweater and like that cute skirt and look business casual i can also wear the shorts and just be casual in general anyway so i did keep this it's just really cute i've even worn that to church before i also have my <laughs> look at the flowers sure it's really old and I think there's even a stain there. My other Carol shirt just got trashed. But anyway, it's like housewife to mercenary. You know, like, I just love this. Carol is one of my favorite characters, all-time favorite. She's made such a turnaround and absolutely love her. So um, this is just something I kept out. And once again, I noticed some of these things are a little bit stained. So I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about <laughs> getting things dirty. And the last thing I kept out is this shirt that my brother gave me several years ago. Uh, it used to be a little bit bigger. Now that I'm a little heavier, it fits a little better. <laughs> but it just says Hug Life. I've worn this. It's super faded. But every time I wear this, I get so many compliments. And it's for my baby brother. Uh, I think he got it at like a five and below. And he was like so happy he found something I would love. It's just exciting. I love it. And that's what I decided to, you know, keep with me. So it can be worn wherever. Okay, there it all is. I'm going to package it all up and show you how it fits in the backpack. Also, I did want to mention that if you're wondering about this outfit, I did keep out an outfit like this to paint in, which is what we're going to do today. And it's basically just an outfit I'm going to throw away. So obviously I'm wearing, you know, my couple more underclothing <laughs> right now. And then of course this, it's really ugly. I've been using it to film all day in, in case you've seen it. And it's not a part of this video. It's, it's going to get in the trash literally after I paint today. So <laughs> That's why it's here. Anyway, um, I'm going to flip that button around and pause it and show you everything packaged up. Okay, so of course we've got my outfit that I'm wearing for the day of and a pair of socks. The other little footy socks I did fit back in here. But basically in the front, um, I'm going to be stuffing my little intimates in there. There's also room to put a few other things. Inside here, I have those two things. I didn't squish them down probably as well as I would have. And then, of course, I got the top part here. There's another compartment back here, and I do still have enough room to zip it up. There's enough room for my headset in here uh, for work. And then, of course, let me see if I can do this one left-handed. <laughs> Maybe not. Let me pause. All right. I had to do it. <laughs> Just stop my hand there. All right. So there's still plenty of storage at other places, all the little compartments, room in here in the front, also in the back here for my laptop all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for my other ones. There's many in the series, my toiletries and makeup, and I'm going to do one last pack it all up and head to the car. So that'll be my last video in this series. Next videos after that, you'll start seeing are in my new place. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.